Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend Cressida Benes has finally found her prince, and he's also called Harry. So who is Harry Wentworth Stanley? Cressida Benes began dating Prince Harry in 2012, but by 2014 the pair had split. Harry would later go on to marry Meghan Markle, but Cressida was spotted as a guest at their wedding in 2018. So who is her current partner? Cressida Benes announced her engagement to Harry Wentworth Stanley earlier this week. And according to The Sun, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will definitely go to the wedding of his ex. Royal commentator Adam Hellicker told the publication, Yes Harry will definitely go, as he has remained on very friendly terms with Cressida, who has never said a word in public about her relationship with the prince. Harry is also very friendly with the bridegroom's mother, Claire Milford Haven. Who is Harry Wentworth Stanley? Harry Wentworth Stanley, 30, is a London-based property developer. He joined the prestigious Civil's Property Agency as a graduate of Leeds University in 2012. He is one of three children born to Claire Milford Haven and Nick Wentworth Stanley, who divorced in 1997. Along with Harry, the pair also had James, who would have been 33 this year, and Louisa, 25. Harry also has two half-siblings through his mother's second marriage to George Mountbatten, 4th Marquess of Milford Haven who is a cousin of the Queen. Harry posted a picture of himself and Cressida looking happy in the sun in Massachusetts, USA, last week, with the caption We Getting Married. His public Instagram shows the property developer has an interest in the outdoors, posting pictures of himself skiing and playing golf. Many pictures also feature him and Cressida out for walks in the country. Harry is a big supporter of the James Wentworth Stanley Memorial Fund, which raises awareness about depression, anxiety and suicide in the young. It was set up in memory of his older brother, James, who shot himself during his second year of university. In his first interview speaking publicly about his brother's death, Harry told The Telegraph, There were times of completely uncontrollable wailing then times of sitting in silence trying to register what has happened. I couldn't picture life without James. I couldn't picture my mum ever being her normal self again. I realized as the eldest I had to step into his shoes and come to terms with it. I had to make sure I kept an eye out for my family. In 2016, Harry rode in a four-man team across the Atlantic on a 3,000-mile journey raising over £650,000 for the James Wentworth Stanley Memorial Trust. Prince Harry has reportedly decided to attend the wedding of his former partner, Cressida Benes, who is set to wed Harry Wentworth Stanley. However, Meghan Markle was not too excited about the idea and has chosen to stay home during the event with her baby boy, Archie. Sources have confirmed the attendance of Prince Harry already something which did not surprise many people who were familiar with the royal family. Prince Harry is known for having maintained a friendship with his ex-girlfriend, and there is nothing inappropriate between them. Still, there have been some rumors indicating that Meghan might not be excited about his decision to attend the wedding, and might have had a thing or two to say about the situation. If Prince Harry is indeed on friendly terms with his former partner though, then it would undoubtedly be appropriate for him to attend the wedding. Royal expert Adam Hellicker told The Sun, Harry will go, as he has remained on amicable terms with Cressida, who has never said a word in public about her relationship with the prince. Harry is also very friendly with the bridegroom's mother, Claire Milford Haven. Another source also confirmed that invites haven't gone out yet, but I'm told Harry and Meghan will be invited. Harry and Cressy are on good terms, Meghan has got to know her, and they are expected to attend. However, rumors about the situation are somewhat conflicting so far. Other sources seem to indicate that Meghan is not okay with the idea, she's known to feel less comfortable with Harry's former girlfriends, particularly Chelsea Davy, who was the prince's first love and with whom he went out, on and off, for seven years. It was Meghan who ensured that Chelsea was not included in the list for the evening party after their wedding. 
This was a very pointed snub when many of Harry and Chelsea's mutual friends from pre-Meghan days were invited to the Frogmore house party. Still, knowing her overall attitude, anything is possible behind the scenes, and it would not be surprising if some of the more shocking rumors turned out to be true. The former actress does not always follow royal protocols and tries her best to remain somewhat independent.